beautiful, wonderfully tainted purple ocean. Looks like my days of tree traveling are over. Probably for the best. What the fudge is that? That's not like the other natives I've seen before. Hi! There. Kind native fellow. He's got a backpack. Let's kill him and take his backpack. Whoa! He's got some sort of weird warping abilities, and I'm not sure I like it. Go away! Where'd he go? Whoa! Oh, you're a quick little thing, aren't you? Oh, I think we did it. Oh, but he dropped... What is this? Oh, this is very strange. Okay. Well, I don't guess we got his backpack if we did, in fact, kill him. Huh. What a waste of effort. Well, on a positive side, we did... We killed a native, and we've made it to the ocean. So let's get out of here. Looks like we're gonna skirt by some islands out this way. Might be worth getting a little bit closer to them and seeing if we can't see something interesting. Oh. Hmm, yeah, doesn't really scream interesting to me. Just looks like more jungle eaten up with the disease. Probably don't want to travel over there now that I think about it. This looks like it's gonna be another one of those floating things. This island's a little bit bigger and looks like it's got a volcano on it, but once again, no desire to head over there for any reason. We've got one destination, that's exactly where we're beelining to. Oh, looks like we got another one of the little aura node friends here. Still wish I knew what was up with that. Don't remember those back in the home world. Okay, we are closing in and I can see the beam. Say, Jaded, how do those beams even work? Well, once you tag a location on your map, we use our advanced LED technology to send a beam straight down to the planet, so you can find it easier. Oh, interesting. Do you do that from the Jaded? And a series of satellites we have across the planet. Oh, cool. Well, something tells me I've got as close to this as I'm gonna get. Spin us around. Boat. Check the map. Yep. Big old expanse of ice here I'm gonna have to cross. Hop out of the boat. See where it goes. It's gonna take off and kind of do its own thing. Hopefully it'll... It's cold out here. Whoa. What? Uh, maybe it's just not something. These apple glasses are a bit glitchy. Okay, I've just got to make it up there now. Hmm. Doesn't look like going around is gonna be any quicker. Probably just a straight beeline. There is sort of a mountain to contend with, though. Not sure if I can punch straight through that. Hey, look! Friendly little sheep! Oh man, I wish I could get one of you back home. I got a buddy I would love to force you to fall in love with. Okay. Up the dangerous mountainside we go. Yay! Attacked by little arms. Yay! Possessed by taint. Yay! Scary dark tunnels. Yay! Oh, this isn't too bad. This is not bad at all. There's nothing up here. I'm still gonna have my sword in case, but... Wow! Hey, and there's a new type of berry bush. Taking that with me. Ah! Just when I thought my trip was going to be a pleasant one. You show up. Where did that go? Definitely don't want to move this from whatever it was doing. Ooh. Right. Get the bushes. Activate the beacon. Have a chat with the jaded. Oh, we got something new. Jackpot! Our scans show an, um, an amazing high number of new ore types on an island in the northwest of the continent you're on. Not only that, but the volcanic activity of that area has created dishes similar to the nether, complete with soul sand, netherrack, and even pigmen. While mining might be dangerous because of all the lava, you should definitely check it out. Hmm. Let's, let's head home real quick. There we go. Hey, Buttercup, I'm back. Just need to add something to the map here. Did I unlock any other locations? A tundra? Hmm. And then Omega, so only three locations left. There we go. So, actually, it looks like if I went back to the Tega, I could get in my boat, hit up the volcano, and then swing back around to Tundra and Glacier and finish them all up. I think I'm gonna do it, Buttercup. After a good night's rest. Alright, this is it, Buttercup. This is the one. This is the day we finish it all. The day we've all been waiting for. I'm excited. Let's do it. We're gonna take a quick jump back to the Tega. 
And then, no hesitation, where's the ocean? Slight hesitation, gotta find the ocean, it's this direction. That's where my boat is. Might have been a good idea to get another boat, I'll admit that. But, uh, to the folks watching at home, today is the day that we finally wrap up our exploration of the planet. All is said and done, we can focus on some other goals. I see the boat, we're gonna make it without, almost without any incident. I mean, definitely getting killed by the planet's, like, native poison. But aside from that, we're using up a bit of hunger here. We'll just walk, no need to run. No need to run, just patient, chill walking, and swimming here in a second. Oh, cold swimming. Oh, ah. into the boat, to the volcano. Now the volcano sounds scary, but pigmen, if I remember from stories, aren't that bad. Oh, look at all those ores. We should come back and do some mining here at some point. But pigmen aren't that scary. Pigmen are nothing to be worried about, I don't think. Uh, unless, you know, you bother them. They're sort of like a real chill race of, hey, don't bother us, we won't bother you. We can all get along, sing a happy song. La 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 la, we're the pigmen race. La 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 la, hit you with a mace. Too bad I can't swim up a lake of lava. If I had like an iron boat, maybe that would work. Although the iron boat might get really hot. So maybe that's not the best idea. So we'll hit next to the lava, not in it, next to it. In this nice little beach section here. And, ooh. Yeah. This is the perfect place. Loving this already. Deaccelerate. Let's bring it down to a slow... Stop. Right there, boat. Good boat! Boat right here. We're so close, but it's like a straight uphill climb. Okay, that's fine. I remember once, a friend of mine, back on the home planet, told me about this time he and his father and his brother went climbing in the mountains, and they were going on this little trail, and their mother got the truck and went to go... They were on a vacation, and um, she went to go do something else while they were climbing the mountain. And it said it was a three-mile hike, but that was like three miles on flat terrain. Like, it was the total distance. Actual walking time, it took the... It was nine miles, because you're constantly going up and down the hills and stuff. And uh, they, they didn't almost die, but they certainly got very tired. And they did not bring enough water, and he said it was a mistake he'd never make again. And I believe him. He seemed like a trustworthy guy. Totally not me. Not a story about me, because that's never an experience I've had. But if it was a story about me, definitely would never do that again. Alright. Whoa. Don't want to fall. I, I kind of like just climbing up the side of mountains. Yes, it uses up the durability on your tools. Yes, it takes a little while, makes you hungry. But at least you're not getting constantly attacked by evil things. And that's all this planet is full of. It's just horrible, evil things. Like, I understand if maybe you fear we're here to, like kill you and take all your land because effectively that's what we're here to do but you think the natives would at least be a little bit more like nice about it like hey please don't be here and we could be like hey no and then we have war but that's not what's happening we just show up and they're like hey you suck let's kill you and then it's just it's not a very pleasant place I don't want my mother coming here if she can find a way to survive back on the home world Despite the fact that it is overrun and like nearing an apocalypse or something like that. I don't really remember this particulars. I think I'd just have her stay there. Alright, made it. Teleporter beacon. Where is the teleport? Fantastic. Still not quite sure how the Jade had managed to have all those delivered here. But, done. Three more locations. Okay. Eat some Malberries. They're pretty good. Never eaten them before. Okay, back down we go. And down should be easier than up. Assuming I don't fall off the mountain. Which is a very real risk. One that I'm willing to take. Ugh, there you go, viewers at home on the home world. That's how you get down a mountain quickly. Now we can jump back into our little boat, which should be waiting for us. Oh, little boat. I've noticed that there weren't really many monsters here. That was nice. Nice change of pace. Now... From here, we swing back around this giant thing of ice, and we hit up the tundra, and see what we've got going on there. Goodbye, pig in a tree. How did pigs even get on this planet? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, made it. What a journey that was. Saw some weird ice spires, not sure what's going on there. Steer us toward land and hop out of the boat. Hope it stays here and waits for me. Now this should be a pretty simple crossing. We're talking less than 100, about 85 meters. Not quite a dash, it's a little bit of climbing involved. But after this, there's only going to be one point left. And immediately, I see something very confusing. I don't understand what is happening there. What is that? Must be some sort of plants. Yeah, I think I see the little stalks, like they're 
I wonder if the Jaded managed that? I guess the Jaded must have done that. What, what, what on earth? What? You're not on earth. Ha ha. Alright, let's build over here. I should probably activate that beacon in case something bad happens. But first, Pooji. What's a Pooji? Hmm. Oh, oh, they're painful. I guess we're gonna leave them there. What? We didn't do that. Um. Right. Okay. Ow. Ugh. Activate the beacon. Don't do that. Activate the beacon. Hop up here. Can I just go ahead and activate this point? Of course not. Gotta get higher. Come on now. All right, look at this. I've made it. I'm here. What is weird bit of echoglite? That's new. All right, I've made it. Done. Tundra. And I like it. It's cold, but at least there's not like a whole bunch of horrible evil things here. It's not as bad as it could be. Is it my imagination or is all the ice melting? Yeah, it looks like all the snow is melting. Why is all the snow melting? Oh, that's not good. Maybe I should do some reading up. Down the frozen bay to the east of the snowy forest, which is useless by the way, there's a frozen tundra, which is only slightly less, less useless. Again, you can find... Man, under the ground, other minerals, you can find elsewhere. Am I destroying this environment by being here? Immediately the ice show up and the ice melts. Not gonna question that. See if I can't get past these sticks though. Ow! Ow! Jeez! Ah! Ugh! What is this stuff? Paving stone of warding? Some different types of coal? A, some sort of book? Oh! Untranslated alien? Okay, more stuff that I can- oh! Hmm. What do I do here? I don't understand. Oh! A desk! Okay? Usually these places have something useful at least. This one has nothing. Well, magnesium. I don't really need that right now. Craft together with a trans uh, translation device to translate. Too valuable to break into language samples. That's a language sample. Tattered note. We can come back for these things. We can just teleport right to them so I don't feel any need to take them with me right now. What I do feel a need to do is eat some toast. <laughs> Check our map. Looks like we've got two points left. Glacier and Team Omega. And maybe we should get some sleep tonight. Can I break these things? Good grief. I think I've destroyed them now too. Which is fine by me. I don't care. Put down a bed. Can't put down a bed here? Ah, there we go. 